What's up, guys? Hey, do any of you know any good natural sunscreen? Like, I've heard shea butter, and I tried some shea butter today, and I feel like I got fried. I'm, like, so confused with this. And I used to try some, like, other sunscreen product, like, a few weeks ago, and I got these, like, pink circles that have now turned white, and I feel like I damaged my skin. Anyways, just thought I'd ask, because it's perplexing. I'm like, what the heck, man? I'm trying to use natural things that God provides out here that... You know, they say, or I've researched, is like natural sunscreen. Put it on and I got fried up. So if any of you know, I'm some up north guy living down in Florida. So I guess I'm still learning. But also, um, my last video I did yesterday, Friday, called Harpazzo Before the 70th Week. I had asked for some prayer requests from you guys. I wanted to thank you. Thank you guys for tossing those out there. And thank you for all of you who contributed to that conversation and to those prayers. And Kim said the same, that when she um, when she read some of the comments and such, she's like, she was praying every time too. And so was I. And I've been responding back to you guys. And I've been praying immediately. And I continue to do that daily. And uh, I think, heads up, we'll do more videos like that where we can intercede and come together and pray. Um, I love doing that. I love just tossing these things up to the Lord and We've seen them work too many times, so we're going to keep doing that. So I, I appreciate you guys for participating and um, sharing what your prayer requests are. So the proper mentality and attitude towards the catching away, towards the rapture, what should it be? And when you think of like what the rapture is, how should we, <clears throat> how should we view towards that? Well, a few things, just um, observations I have, like... We want to, when we think about the catching away, the whole point of the of a pre-tribulation rapture, which of course I hold to, is that you want to be ready anytime, every time, you know, no matter what might happen, <clears throat> no matter what you might be doing, it's always in the forefront of your mind. Uh, it's imminent. It could happen at any time. Uh, it makes me think of this, this story I heard uh, from this book I had read talking about this this man had visited a school and he said he's going to be coming back and when he comes back he didn't specify when but when he would come back he would give an award to whatever student had the, the cleanest desk so this little girl said you know I'm going to win I'm going to make sure I, I uh, have the cleanest desk and her, her little classmate said oh no you're so messy you know you'll never win and she's like, no, I'll, I'll clean it every, and I think she said, like, every Monday. And then the classmate said, well, what if he comes Friday? And she said, she said, well, I'll clean it every morning. And then they said, well, what if he comes at nighttime? And she said, I'll just, she paused and she, she thought about it. And then she said, I'll just keep it clean all the time. <laughs> and it's like, that's the mentality we need to have, right? We don't want to be found doing the wrong thing being in the wrong place, saying the wrong thing. We want to be just expected and ready. And sometimes when we have division among different uh, views on pre-tribulation, pre-wrath, mid-tribulation, post-tribulation, um, harpazo catching away, that can lead, just a bad example, to, to the lost world, to people who see that potentially infighting, argumentative, you know. Whenever the catching away will happen, this is a what's known as a secondary issue. This is not a salvific issue. This is not something, you know, that you need to have down for salvation. <clears throat> if that was the case, yeah, those are more, you know, impassioned um, conversations. That's very important to save people. And to be um, having that right salvation down so you don't know that you're saved. But we want to, um, that's the whole point of it, to encourage the individual uh, just to always be ready for the Lord's return, not knowing uh, when it's going to be. Also, it's meant to motivate us uh, to get busy just being obedient, doing what Jesus says sharing the gospel right to the lost world being a, a godly example as well so it's it's the blessed hope you know it's not the the, the big beat down of each other 
you know, I've had different conversations with people and, you know, we need to have the fruits of the Holy Spirit when we're talking about these things. I've had some people say in comments to me, and it doesn't hurt my feelings, but it's it's not expressive of, of how a believer should be behaving, saying things like, you need to read your Bible, or, um, you know, they'll say a few complimentary things and they're like, but you really need to study this more, and I don't know. Um... You know, it's not necessarily the worst language at all, but I don't know. I think if I was speaking with somebody who had a different timetable of the catching away, would I say that? I don't know. I would say I don't see it that way. Um, and I do. That's how I respond. Like, I say, we're not going through it. I, I speak my peace on it. And I say, but regardless, I love you. Jesus bless you. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? So let us be cautious how we speak to each other. We got to have those fruits of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, long-suffering, and self-control. We got to look more like Jesus each and every day. And uh, we can do it, and we must do it. We have the Holy Spirit in us, so it ain't no problem. It can happen. It's also a mark of maturity to, you know, agreeably disagree on these secondary issues. All right, so instead of a mission to convert those who hold to like a different tribulation uh, or catching away pre-tribulation or post-tribulation, um, now we need to um, focus maybe more attention just on reaching the lost, the truly lost, not the ones we think are, are, are you know, so deviant from the right proper view. This is a secondary issue. So the Bible is also clear, you know, guys, we are on a mission to save people from hell. Right? We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. That salt will slow down decay. <clears throat> so that's what we're here for. Let's focus more on that. I wanted to read three scriptures. Um, so Romans 10, 14. I'm going to flip to that one really quick. I want to close with some encouraging words here that can power us to, to go forth and do these things that I'm talking about here. So Romans 10, 14. How then... Shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So that belief is going to come by these people, these lost folks hearing. And they're going to hear that, that hearing of the word of God from us who preach the word. But it's the word that saves. <clears throat> like Romans uh, ten seventeen. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we can be the ones who deliver that. So let's do that. Let's do more of that. Let's save some souls. We're already going to glory. We've already won the spiritual jackpot. Man, let's bring at least one with us. It'd be fun to bring many with us. I hope I bring at least one, but I hope I bring many. John 14, 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So there's not many ways. There's one way. And thank God there is a way. So this is what we give people. We give them Jesus because he's the one who's going to save. All right? Many of you know that. And if any of you have questions, if you're lost, meaning you don't know Jesus, you haven't been born again, that means um, transformed into something different. Um, it's Jesus who does that. And reading the word will help you do that. John 8, 24. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins, right? So these scriptures are just talking about, it's all about Jesus. You know, you're going to die in your sins if you don't know Jesus to those who, uh, that we need to bring the, the, the message of Jesus to. Uh, they're going to die in their sins and they're going to go to hell. And that's just period. Like that's how it's going to be. At the end of the day, there's saved and there's unsaved. So let's, uh, Let's not have division. Let's have the right attitude regarding the catching away, regarding the rapture. You can hold to whatever view you want. And it's fun to talk about these things, but we don't need to get contentious with other uh, you know, believers, other people who proclaim Jesus. Let's uh, keep first things first <clears throat> and lead with that foot in the direction of just, uh, just love and truth. We can be zealous for the truth, but we got to remember these characteristics of the Lord, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and love being the completion of the law and the prophets. So 
if we operate in that regard, we're we're doing good, and, and that's that's the the right the next right step in any situation. So appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, thank you for watching, and please share this video uh, if it's blessed you. I would appreciate that. And heads up for some uh, additional videos in the future on prayer time. I'll probably do a live stream. And I'll give you guys a notification uh, in advance so you know you can kind of plan to try to be there if you can. Uh, even if you can't really, you know, be watching or listening too much. If you could, um, when, it, when the video pops up, jump on it. You can quick type in um, a prayer request you might have into the, the live stream feed. We're going to all pray, not just me for you at that time, but all those others who are viewing and the people who will watch the video afterwards. We're going to do this because prayer is powerful and a lot of you guys have struggles that are legit and, and, and big, and so do I. So we'll pull together for that. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.